Section 1.4 Surface Areas of Right Pyramids and Right Cones Surface area can be compared to how much paint would it take to cover the entire outside of the shape. Let's start off with cones. I want to go through a couple of definitions here. First one is the apex. Apex is this top tip of the cone. And the next one, I want to look at the difference between slant height and height. So the height is actually the total height of the cone. It goes from the center of the cone all the way up to the top. That's different than the slant height. That slant height is along the outside edge. So it's as if an ant were walking up that pyramid. How far would it have to go to get to the apex? Keep in mind the slant height and the height are not going to be the same. If you were to cut this cone, you could see this triangle right here, where the height is one leg of your triangle, the radius is another, and the slant height is the hypotenuse. The last thing, in order to be considered a right cone, the height has to be 90 degrees to the base. Here we have the formula for the surface area of a right cone. So the surface area is the lateral area plus the base area. The base area is all of this space on the bottom. The lateral area, well that's this cone part right here. Put them together and you get the total surface area. Here we have the formula, a couple of variables that we should define. R is the radius of your base, and S is your slant height. Pi, well, if you've got a pi button on your calculator, use that. But if you don't, 3.14 is close enough. When we look at our formula, surface area equals pi r s plus pi r squared. Each of these is a separate part. This part right here is the lateral area. This back part, this pi r squared, that's my base area. Know which piece is which, because sometimes a question only needs you to work with one part of it instead of both. Let's move on to a question. Determining the surface area of a right cone. So a right cone has a base radius of 2 feet and a height of 7 feet. Calculate the surface area of this cone to the nearest square foot. I always like starting by writing down my formula. Let's start defining our variables. I've got my base radius, so my radius equals 2 feet. But you have to be careful. This is your height. That is not your slant height. That's this height right here. What we actually need is this height right here. Be very careful with the questions. Sometimes they give you the slant height. In that case, it's an easy question. But other times, but other times, math textbooks and math teachers like to be tricky and will give you the wrong height. We're going to have to calculate the slant height from the height. To calculate that slant height, I'm going to draw that little triangle from inside our cone. Put in the pieces that we know. I know that this side is 7 feet. I know that this bottom is 2 feet. And this hypotenuse is S. That's the slant height. That's the piece we need to find. Now, since we have a right triangle there, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Now, remember, C is my hypotenuse. A and B are the legs. I know A and B. Let's use it to find that hypotenuse. S squared equals. 7 feet squared plus 2 feet squared. S squared equals 7 squared is 49. 2 squared is 4. When I put those together, S squared equals 53. Let's take the square root of both sides. When I do that, I figure out my slant height equals. When I take the square root, I figure out my slant height equals 7.28 feet. I'll put a box around that. I'm coming back for that number. Because now I know my radius is 2 feet, my slant height is 7.28 feet, I have get everything I need to use this formula. I've run out of room. Let's move to a fresh page to finish this off. My area equals... Okay, there's my equation set out. Remember this first part is the lateral area, and the second part is my base area. Going through the calculations, my lateral area, multiply those three numbers together, 3.14 times 2 feet times 7.28 gives me 45.72. Looking at my base area, remember your Bedmas rules, so we do the exponent first, 2 squared equals 4, and 4 times 3.14 gives me 12.56. Add those two pieces together, and my area equals 58.28, and it is an area, so we're looking at squared. The question also asked to round it to the nearest foot, so my area equals 58 square feet.
There's my area. Let's take a look at this one. Lateral area of a cone is 220 centimeters squared. The diameter of the cone is 10 centimeters. Determine the height of the cone to the nearest centimeter. So what is it asking? We want the height of the cone. That's this piece right here. What do we know? We know the lateral area of the cone is 220 square centimeters and the diameter of the cone is 10 centimeters. So in this case, it's like we have the answer, but we have to work backwards to find a missing measurement. Let's write down our formula. But wait a minute, we only know the lateral area. We don't know the total surface area. So I can actually ignore this part of the equation because that's the base. Only the pi rs is our lateral area. The other thing is our formula calls for the radius. We know a diameter. So to calculate that, our diameter equals 2 times the radius. So we take the diameter divided by 2, we get our radius. 10 centimeters equals 2 times the radius. Divide both by 2. My radius is 5 centimeters. Let's put that information in and solve for the slant height. That doesn't quite get us the height we're looking for, but it gets us one step closer. Got one variable in there. Okay, 220 equals, if I times 3.14 times 5, I get 15.7. And I still have that variable s. I'm going to isolate the s. So I'm going to take both sides, divide by 15.7. Those two will cancel each other out. And I'm left with s equals 14.01. And that's centimeters. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to actually use this triangle, which is a right triangle, and the Pythagorean theorem to find my height. This is getting a little crowded, so let's move to a new page. All right, so here we've got our drawing. It's on a fresh page with some new room. Let's just redraw that triangle. And this piece right here is our height that we're solving for. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem again. This time we know our c squared, but we're missing one of our legs. Put the numbers in where we know them. And do the calculations. Subtract 25 from both sides. Take the square root of both sides. I'm left with my height equals 13.1 centimeters. And there is the height of my cone. 